side, this is Long Ashes, this is the Crap Beer Show, part of the Crap Network, and with me as always is Bobby Butane. How's it going? Punch. Punch it up. Nubs. What's going on? And the Ashtray. What's up? What is What's up? What is up is this week's beer review, and we're reviewing Tap Room Number 21 Brewing Company. Uh, we reviewed their lager uh, a few months ago. And now we're reviewing their Amber Ale. Bo's Backroom Amber Ale is what they're calling it. The Backroom. The Backroom. Yeah. That's where they keep all the good shit. What's and going on in the Backroom? This room? is a 5.5% ABV and 18 IBUs. You were going on in the Backroom, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> it is an Amber Ale. The secret's out! Oh shit! Crap! Any of you guys have this open yet? See what it smells like here? It's actually a twist top. It's a twist top. It's a twist top? Yeah. Why am I doing this then? It smells delicious. Yeah, it smells really good. It's got a really good smell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It smells tasty. It that smells right off the tap. Fucking carbonation is like banging through the bottle too. Yeah, yeah when you open it yeah, up, you can see it. When you first open it, that carbonation is crazy. Yeah. I think the back room thing was uh, for mm -hmm. prohibition. Yeah, okay, it says it right on there. <laughs> I think it smells really good. Mm hmm. Mm, it does smell good. Yeah. What do you get out of it? What do you think? Mm. Nothing specific, just. Right? It smells like a whiskey to me in a way. Yeah, it smells so. really good. It smells like a tap beer right off the tap. It makes yeah. you want to drink it right away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm kind of like. Yeah, let's get drinking this thing. Salad yeah, right. this at is the mouth, awesome. trying to get right, this. Let me, let me like, do the glass. So we can uh, do the pour. Do the pour here. Right here. here. Come out real clear at first. Yeah. yeah. Kind of got that. Uh, Man. Real light golden color. Can you hear the carbonation. Oh yeah, yeah it's it's glasses. There's There's about a finger head off mine. Yeah, right about a finger head. That's a lot of carbonation in this. Um, in the glass, it's when you hold it up to the light, it's got that real golden color. Looks good. Let's see what it smells like. Yeah, glass. fingerhead. Still smells pretty awesome in the glass. Man, look at that. Yeah. Carbonation's wicked. I'd say we're looking at a pretty tasty beer here. I don't oh, know what yeah. you guys think. Right. One, one way to find out. Let's pitch down. Yeah. Drink it up. Yep. Drink it up. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> get all the there. He's chugging the whole damn thing down. <laughs> chug, 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 chug. That's some good stuff. Ooh. Mm. Oh, good. that goes down smooth. That's got a good flavor to yeah. it. One yeah. of the better beers I've had. Mm. Oh, wow. Hails. Mm. That is awesome. Is it good? That Ooh. is really good. Yeah. Oh, that's got, got a nice that, flavor. Got that nice caramel taste to it. Mm hmm. I'd have wow. to say that's a fucking damn good beer, man. Yeah. Awesome. Hell that is yeah. a damn good beer. How was that? I was gonna finish it the next drink. <laughs> I was at Kroger's and I was looking at the the beer aisle and looking at like three different blends. They had they had the uh, amber ale. They had the uh, they didn't have the wheat. The amber ale, the pale, and the uh, lager. Mm -hmm. We already did the uh, we did the lager. We did the yeah. lager, so I wanted to go with the amber. Yeah, good choice, man. And how choice. much was this? It was cheap. It was uh, six ninety nine. Six ninety nine for a six pack. Holy grail. Fuck, man. Yeah, for that price alone. Price wise. Jeez. <laughs> Holy grail. <laughs> price of scale. Jeez. Way, off the scale. Way off the scale. I'm actually going to have to be a uh, different opinion here. Uh -oh. I'm Tate. Uh, You're Debbie Downer. What are you doing, Tate? <laughs> Tate. Debbie yes. Downer. I'm not. I'm not really fond of the taste too much. I like, really? I mean, I like it, but it's like there's something there that like hits me that I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it really? is, but. Oh, I think it's crisp. It goes oh, down man. smooth. It's it's so so I, it was I, I won't argue so with that. Stale. It is crisp. It goes down smooth, but there's something about the flavor. I don't know what he's that saying. is like. Not really driving with me. I don't know. I think it's a decent ale, but I'm not gonna go holy grail on this one. I'm gonna go holy grail. Holy grail. Holy grail. <laughs> <laughs> Where you at, Butane? I'm fucking Holy Grail on this shit, man. Hell yeah. It tastes good, You're price is good. Grail? I'm fucking the Holy Grail on this one. <laughs> this Woo! is the fucked version of the Holy Grail, because this is good. This is like the beer fest oh. beer. Like, I want to stick my dick in it. <laughs> I just so want to crawl inside the glass and live there. You know, it's good. Around. you know it's good if you can drink it in two gulps. I'm tell so I'm like, I'm probably going to kill this in my next drink. Like, I kind of want to savor it. Yeah, I just want more. What kind of information did you say that was on this on uh, IBU and the uh, 18 IBU? <laughs> I don't 
my god. Carbonation. <laughs> Carbonation. Yo, Belgian oh, Reformers. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Woo! Woo! Damn! Oh, no. <laughs> Too bad your frame's not working. Oh, you're ruining man. my holy grail. Oh, Jesus. Your ass is a piss one. Oh, that's, that's not a holy grail. This makes you want to grab another one, you know? Oh, man. <laughs> it does that to you. I don't know. I'm going to keep you away from I can't. I can't believe you ain't... You ain't getting the same vibe on this as we are. What what what's going on with yours, man? I don't know. Like I said, I think is it, your palate fucked up it, today. It almost has a like a whiskey type taste to it or something. Yeah, I think I I kind of pick up like on a cherry taste, yeah. which you find in whiskey, but I, I think like, it's good. I caramel. like a caramel. Yeah, caramel. caramel. Yeah. yeah, maybe. I don't know. I just I don't know. I've had it before, and I think you remember me saying that I wasn't like you, you know a hundred percent fond of it. You fucker. I, I like the taste. I of think it, it's man. sweet. I think it's. But I guess I'm sweet. I like it. I just. I mean, I don't know. I don't you don't like it enough. The Holy Grail. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta say, uh, I actually had. I had bought a six pack of these, and I drank like a couple of them out of the bottle, versus the glass. And I think with the glass, you get a lot more flavor. Yeah. But really, out of the bottle, it, it's pretty good too. Really. So either way, glass or bottle, you can't lose. No, I love. I love this brew, man. I think. Awesome. It's, yeah, yeah. I think it's good. This is my first time having this. And, you think you pick uh, up more for that price? I'd pick oh, up a six, like six ninety nine. Shit, I'd pick, pick up two a couple of six packs. Yeah. I'd pick <laughs> up two of them and have a little party. They actually sell these by the twelve pack too. Oh, they oh, do. Did they? Yeah. Did they have my Kroger's? Yeah, I didn't see them. Yeah. Hell yeah. I think it's like uh, thirteen ninety nine for a twelve pack. Yeah. That's you know six ninety nine. That's cheap for a craft beer. You know it is yeah. for a six or yeah. that's cheap. Our normal price is like what eight ninety nine usually. Yeah, eight ninety nine. So, I mean, you're saving fucking two bucks on picking up something that's tasty, goes down really smooth. And it's getting the Holy Grail from four out of five. Four out of five. Four out of five. Four out of five, four out of five beer drinkers agree it's a Holy Grail. <laughs> so, what's your, uh... Yeah, what, what are you saying? I'm what saying decent. Decent, decent. decent. So, you're just one step below. I'm yeah, he's, he's still up there, guys. His, his palate's a little different than ours. Yeah, but I, just the, the flavor doesn't jive with me too much. But, but the overall quality of the beer... I'll the finish it for you if you want. <laughs> <laughs> You still get the caramel and problem. like the cherry, a little bit of cherry flavor to it. I don't know. I'm, if I'm definitely picking up on those flavors, and that's what I like. To I me, it has good. like kind of a whiskey taste to it. I don't like whiskey, so I'm know. sure any any one of the four of us would gladly finish that for you. <laughs> <laughs> we've only, we've only taken a drink of it, haven't you? A couple of drinks. Yeah. Yeah. I've had two out of this. Damn, who they gonna survive another one? Man. We got we got three empty glasses in the the period of the whole review too, so. That's a testament. That is. Jug, 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 oh, jug, oh. jug. There it is. Four. They got four. Four empty glasses. Now with the uh, with the, with the pale, which or the lager that we did last time, I think that only scored a decent. That only scored a decent. Mm -hmm. yeah. This one, as I remember, I, I can pretty much remember how that lager went, and this one is definitely by far, you know, hits another category. Yeah. You can yeah, definitely yeah. taste that, and that's uh, that's the amber ale, so yeah, really mm -hmm. good. Well, there you have it. Uh, tap room number twenty-one Brewing Company, Moe's Back Room Amber Ale, uh, five point five percent ABV, eighteen IBUs, four out of five Holy Grails and a decent six ninety-nine a six bag. They you can't price that, man. Four empty yeah. glasses. What you else you got? Yeah. Yeah. I still got some in the bottle here. Oh, price alone, you can't. You, hey, can't you got more them. bottles on here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nubs is going to the back room with bottles. <laughs> Going Not gonna tell you what you're back there. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, <laughs> we're going to continue to search for the Holy Grail of Hell.